terrified driving the wagon, by the way, terrified, but that's okay. <laughs> it's going on my resume. I can drive a, wa a well, wagon. Be careful. No, <laughs> that's right, that's right. They'll ask you to do it again for real. Well, I had my chickens. It's a brief moment, you know, but I, of course, like all scenes in movies, they're much longer than what you actually see in the editing. And I had the great time with my chickens. <laughs> that I forgot that. I was really playing with uh. them and chasing them around and feeding them. They finally had to say, please stop feeding them, Judy, because yeah. otherwise when we get ready to film it, they're not going to be interested in you. <laughs> Well, I think Sarah's one of her first films away from her. It's not just about a woman, but it's about what happened to this woman because of the condition of Alzheimer's. I, I love that it was about the woman experiencing it rather than the man experiencing it, although it impacts his life. A movie many years ago called A Woman Under the Influence with Jenna Rowlands. Yes. A John Cassavetes film made an indelible impression on me. I should watch it again with Peter Falk and Jenna Rowlands. Wonderful. And it was about the madness of a woman and a woman being misunderstood. She wasn't really mad at all. She was just trying to express herself. And it was a great exploration mm -hmm. of a mother and a woman and a wife and how she didn't fit in. That, for me, would be part of the canon. There's another film that made an impact on me called Herself. It was about this young, well, young for me, um, woman trying to make her life work. And I thought it was so inherently female and important. It did make an impact on me. I wish I'd seen that movie when I was that age. You know, it would have made a difference in my life.